Hello guys, my name is RJ and welcome to the final part of my Help the Hero Let's Play. Uh, we're finding the final guy that we have to face, uh, Dragonoid. He looks like the Rhino guy, but now he has like futuristic armor and stuff. That looks cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm aiming for the bad and stuff, but uh, you, you can see the... This is, this, is our, this is our final battle of the entire game, pretty much. After this... Well, we're going to be treated to an interesting ending. Well, it's not really groundbreaking or anything, but it's... Well, you'll, you'll probably know it. So yeah, anyway, uh... You probably heard the news recently. Um, if you are unaware, um... Recently, the famous Chicago, sometimes, uh, critic and, uh... Famous for his, uh... Uh, television, uh, well not television reviews, but review, uh, movie reviews he's done on television lots of times, uh, a classic, a classic in his own right, um, a legend in, uh, reviewing. His name was, uh, you probably know him, Roger Ebert. Uh, recently he'd been going through, uh, cancer, uh, treatments, and, uh, he, he was definitely a man who's been through a lot, and you can, you can really see it. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, he, uh, passed away, uh, just yesterday. Um, it really was some, like, just, it was really just, like, some, like, news. I mean, everyone was just, like, like, oh my god. Because, really, uh, he, he's been around for a long time, like, he'd seen it all, like, Classics like Psych. Well, uh, actually, well, he's been through a lot in uh, movie history. Uh, even before like uh, Cisco and Ebert, he was like, I think he was doing reviews for the Chicago. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not the biggest like researcher of his stuff, but I did know he he's been through a, a long history of movies. It's really a shame that we uh, really lost such a great man. Like, both of them, like, Cisco and Ebert, they were just a, a great duo, a duo, reviewing duo. You just couldn't imagine two more perfect people together watching movies and critiquing them. Now, that's really something amazing, like, he's kind of, uh, Roger Ebert is kind of like a household name in critiquing. Uh, most of the time, people don't really pay attention to the critics. I mean, we're just here to, like, be all uh, angry and... All that stuff against your reviews, but honestly, <laughs> oh here I tried to get the musket in. But honestly, it's kind of interesting to see that. Oh, uh, here's a funny thing. I tried to get them the thing in. I tried my hardest to get like the thing in. Oh no, no. Ah, uh, can't fit it in. Yeah, yeah. Here's the, my trying to get the fit the thing in. It's it's not gonna work. Oh, uh, sorry. So anyway, just. Really, it's interesting just seeing, like, people's reactions to his death, because I'm honestly really shocked. I was actually, I wasn't, like, the biggest, I, I was actually not even born before, I was, uh, I wasn't even born before I could see, I, I, I didn't see, like, Cisco and Ebert and all that stuff. I, I did, though, uh, remember, uh, reading his articles, like, I, I was actually a big fan of his sometime articles, like, ah, oh, damn it, I missed, yeah, you see me moving the thing, I was trying to get the thing, but actually, Accidentally moved the, sc uh, the screen thing for a bit. It wasn't too noticeable, but it's simply, yeah. But uh, honestly, I'm 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 really a big fan of his, like reading his newspapers, like some of his old stuff, even some of his new stuff. Uh, it just he's de he was definitely like, honestly, when people imagine critics, they always think of like the the Jay Shermans and the the Anton egos. But honestly. Kind of ironically enough, one of the most well-known people and considered like the snobby kinds were the ones that just was one of the most one of the most happiest. Like kind of, he just you could see his love for film. Like even if you didn't agree with him, you could just see that he was loving what he loving what he was doing, even if you didn't agree with it. <laughs> uh, victory, we won the game. That's just, that's great. And so the village is saved by the unflacking efforts of our hero, a man who knew nothing of fear. By his blade, the same wall so easy. And also, he loved a bit. 
Good work. <laughs> That's just a great ending. Uh, so yeah. That's the end of Healthy Hero. I, I'm sorry I was busy like talking about all this stuff. Uh, these are the credits. These are the guys who did the game. They're really good people like behind the game. Uh, the experts, experience guy. He created the entire game. There's also uh, the guys who uh, uh, who did the artist work. It was uh, uh, the experience programmed the game. The Super Flash Brothers were the guys that like did the artwork for the thing, and the artwork's like really gorgeous, by the way. It's just pretty to look like. Um, of course, I mentioned Eager After did the voices. Um, recently, the Super Flash Brothers are doing this game. I forgot what it was called, but it was like this. I think it was an iPad uh, pad game. It's really interesting and unique. Uh, I'll give like a link to it in the description. It's it's really good. You should check it out. Uh, but uh, before I end the video, I should give some like final thoughts on like um, Roger Ebert, like. Just, just a bit, just a couple of minutes before I end the video. I know I'm not going to be showing game footage, but, you know, I, I just wanted to say my opinions about the guy. Um, honestly, uh, there were definitely moments where I didn't agree with him. Uh, like, re even recently, like, re well, recently, as can be, when he was doing re reviews of recent films, like, he was, uh, uh, maybe, it was just, like, he was always a bit too positive, I thought. Well, it, it was his opinion, not honestly. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, it's really interesting. Really, the guy does love film. That's really the thing. He's he's a man who just loves film. He knows he probably can't make them. When he's the maker of a movie, he's not, he's not the greatest. He was definitely kind of the perfect, one of the just great critics in the world. Just like, he just gave his opinion. He was he 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 told you whether he loved the movie or not and explained why and people listened we 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 wanted to hear his opinion uh that's why Cisco and Ebert came along that's why people that's why the Chicago Sun Times featured his reviews that's why a lot of people like Doug Walker were really influenced on him he, he just had an opinion and we, and we were engaged he, he had some great things to say like he 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 was like a big influence, really. You can just all I just want to say to end this word off is say, well, Cisco and Ebert are gonna finally reunite themselves in the heavens, and I we will never forget it. We will never forget the great man. So we have finished. Uh, we finished the Hell of a Hero, my first ever Let's Play. Huh? It's it's a bit on the long side. I know it was. It's a short game, but it took me like 40 minutes to to beat. Uh, uh, yeah. There was a lot of things I wanted to talk about. Even now, I'm like extending this thing a bit too much. But you know what? I really enjoyed it. I admit I have some ways of going. I'm I'm not going to be like a big Let's player. That's not going to be my thing big thing but you know what for a little side thing I think I did really good and you know what I'm I'm very interested in trying other things you never know uh, I might uh, you know maybe I will try another one of these things one of these days the possibilities are are really just endless well not endless but there's definitely a lot of things I could do well uh, we'll just see what happens but for now uh, this is RJ saying I hope I didn't suck uh, bye